We've come together in this beautiful setting to celebrate the marriage of Terry and Kobe. As we stand here surrounded by such splendor, we're reminded of God's great love for us. He takes great delight in surrounding us with the beauty of nature. And he's also given us many other gifts to enable us to enjoy life. And among those are the gifts of family and friends and of love and of marriage. And today, we celebrate God's gift of marriage. Mr. Shannon, do you give this woman to be married to this man? If you do, please answer, I do. I do. Terry, Kobe, you're standing here filled with anticipation, excitement, and joy. Let me pause this for a moment. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. You may be seated. Terry, Kobe, you're standing here filled with anticipation, excitement, and joy. You each have your own visions and expectations and dreams of what your life together will hold. Each of you is looking to the other to help you fulfill your needs, help you to realize your dreams. Marriage is God's design for us to find happiness and fulfillment in our union with each other and with Him. Therefore, marriage is holy before God. This commitment is being made in His presence, and we look to Him for His blessing. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we've gathered now to celebrate the marriage of Terry and Kobe. We thank you for your divine presence with us. We ask now that you would bless this ceremony and make it a very sacred time for each one present. And as Terry and Kobe commit themselves and their lives to each other, may your divine love fill their hearts. May they come to know the one who is the source of all love. We ask this now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As you look forward to your life together, you'll share many times of joy and happiness. But there will also be sorrows and struggles. Each marriage has a share of sunshine as well as storms. But if you'll hold each other fast during the dark times and draw from each other's strength, then your marriage will be stronger and your love will grow deeper and your joy will reach new heights. If you will honor and respect each other, if you'll accept not just the strengths, but also the weaknesses and the flaws in each other, then each of you will experience the true freedom to be yourself, knowing that you too are loved and accepted just for the way you are. Are you willing to make this commitment? And do you desire now to be joined in marriage? If you do, please answer, I do.
Terry, do you take Kobe to be your wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live? If you do, please answer, I do. I do. Kobe, do you take Terry to be your husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish for as long as you both shall live. If you do, please answer, I do. The ring is a symbol of the love that you share together. The gold is symbolic of how precious and pure that your love is. And the circle, it's never ending, showing that your love will last forever. Terry, please repeat after me. I give you this ring to show my love for you. I give you this ring to show my love for you. Let us pray. Our gracious Father, we thank you for your blessings upon this day and upon this union. We pray that Terry and Kobe will continue to enjoy your peace and your love as they walk down the road of life together. We pray that as they live out the vows they've made today, that you will touch their lives with your blessing, that their home may be filled with your presence. And we ask, Father, that they may come to know you as the spirit of love and the giver of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And it's in his name that we pray. Terry, Kobe, you came to the chapel today as two. And as you made your vows to each other, God has made you one. May love be your constant companion. May your children be a reminder of God's blessing upon your marriage. And may your home be filled with peace. Now, in the presence of God and all those in this gathering, I pray God's blessing upon your marriage. And I pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Terry, you may kiss your bride.
have to come to the steps so you're guessing the sign. Sure. Thank you.